I don't know if you've ever done this famous experiment, Lila, but here's a candle. And I have a bolt at the other end, so you hold, make it nice and heavy so it'll sit here in the dish of water. And here is a jar with a big sort of mouth on it that I can put over the top of that, like so it'll end up with the candle inside. What'll happen? The candle will go out. Why? Because it'll use up the oxygen that's in there. So go ahead, put the bottle over there real quickly. Just put it right down over the top. That's it. Okay. Now let's see if you're right. You say the candle should go out? Yeah. These, there it is, getting weaker and weaker. It's going down. Finally goes out. There it's out. But look what's happening down below. All the water's coming in. Well, at least some of the water's coming yeah. in. It's about up to here, right? Yeah. Why? Maybe to take the place of the oxygen that was burned? Well, that's sort of the explanation that most people have used to explain this phenomena when they've done this many, many times. In other words, the oxygen was consumed in the candle flame, taken from the air inside, so the water, the outside air pressure pushed the water up to take the place of the oxygen that was used. Yeah. Wrong. What? Wrong. How come? Well, let's do this another way and see if you can figure out why that's wrong. See this other candle over here? Yeah. And you see what's next to the wick? It's a little coil. Okay, turn that knob all the way up, and that coil will get hot because we're going to run electricity through it. And as soon as the candle is lit, well, you can turn it out. Okay, now turn it out. Whoop. There we go. So the point is we can light the candle without a match. Yeah. After it's in the box. Like that. Now we can light the candle, right? Right. But before we do that, let's take out some of the air. You take that end. And I'm going to put this end in the bottle. And then you suck, suck out some of the air so that we can make the water rise inside the bottle. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now stop right there. Okay. Tastes smoky. Tastes smoky? You're all right, though. Yeah. Okay. There we are. The water level is, uh, well, as you see, what, two, three centimeters up? Yeah. All right. Now all you have to do is turn on the current and we can light the candle and the same thing should happen. It should go out, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see if you're... Okay. Now turn that out. Now watch. It's not rising. No. It's not going out quite yet either. Wait. There, it's out now. How is that water level compared to what it was before? It's not, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. So your explanation about the water went up because it used up some of the oxygen in the air must be incorrect, right? Right. Well, when scientists have done this very carefully and analyzed the products of the combustion, they found that the carbon dioxide and other products given off from the flame mm -hmm. take about the same space as the oxygen did before the flame. So the water shouldn't come in at all. Yet yeah. it went up over there. Oh. All right, let's do that one again now. See if you can Kay. see what it is, the real explanation for it. But before we do that, I have to fill that with water. Why? Um, to push out the rest of the carbon dioxide. Right. And to stuff. All, we want to make sure we have a bottle of nice, fresh, clean air. And one way to do that is to fill the bottle with water to force out all the old air. And now, what are we filling the bottle with? Air. Right. Air. Oxygen. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there. Finally. Okay. okay. Now this time, Lila, when you turn it over and put it down quickly, watch very closely what happens right at the level of the water. Okay. You didn't pay attention to that last time. No. Okay, watch what happens now. It bubbled. Okay. What, so what difference is that going to make in the experiment? Well, some of the air came out. Mm -hmm. The candle is obviously heating up the air inside. Yeah. That makes it expand, right? Right. That's what the bubbling was, the hot air coming out. What happens when the candle goes out? The air contracts. Yes. And the water fills up the space outside when the, air the water came out. Right. So it only takes up the space of the air that you heated up and let escape. And there it is, well, just about where it was before. 
Oh, now I get it. Okay. Mm, I was wrong before. Yeah, well, and you were, you, you had a lot of company. A lot of people were wrong with this experiment because it's not because you use up the oxygen, but because you heat up the air and that makes it expand.